Hey guys, this is Dabson Hmail. I hope you are doing great. So first of all, I must sincerely apologize for not being able to record tutorials for some time now. But I'm actually um, going to try my best, my possible best to be able to record tutorials in the coming days. So today I have something that I want to show you, something very interesting and easy to create. So I have this page open. Let me just go ahead and refresh the page and you see what I actually mean. So you realize once I refresh the page, there was some kind of black um, layer on top of everything on the page. And then we had some form of loader loading in the middle. So let me just try this once more. So you see we have this loader. It takes some few seconds, finish loading, and then we see the actual content on the page. I think this is very beautiful or interesting to have on your website. So let's see how you can actually create something similar to this. So let me just go ahead and then open up my project. And then let's take a look at some of the things happening in here. So this is my page and um, first of all, let's look at the right hand section of the page. So you realize I have some form of dark layer here, another layer, and then the loader itself, which happens to be a GIF file. And then also we have a timer object here. So what is actually happening is that I have this layer, which is a docking layer, and then a docking mode is actually set to fill. So this actually fills the entire screen once it is um, showing. And then we have this layer in here which is a sticky layer and this this is actually sticking to the middle that is the center center so for both horizontal and vertical it's actually going to be in the middle of the page and then we have a timer here which is actually having some kind of event set to it so after some time is met or something is met then this is going to be shown so we have the image which is um, which happens to be in this particular layer so let's see how we can actually create something similar to this let me just go ahead I'm going to go ahead to create a new page. So let me just um, create a new page and then I'll come back to this page and then um, highlight on everything here, excluding um, these objects. I just want this particular content to be able to populate that particular page. So let me just paste everything here. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to come to the toolbox. This time around, I'm going to search for layer two. So I'm going to bring the layer two here. And then I'm going to double click on this. Let me first of all set the color to black. And then, um, so let me just go ahead and set the color to black. And then I'll change the mode to docking. So I'll set the docking mode to fill. And then alignment is going to be center. So I'll go ahead and then click on OK. Now I'll come back to the toolbox. I'll bring another layer. I'll draw in here. And then I'll move this layer into this layer. Now I have to make sure this particular layer is in the middle, both horizontally and vertically in this particular layer. So. I right click on it, go to center in page and then select both so that I make sure it sticks to the middle of this particular layer. Now I'll double click on this new layer and then I'm going to change the mode of this new layer to um, this is going to be sticky and then the orientation is going to be center center. So I'll set the alignment to um, center as well and then I'll change the delay here, which is very important. So I'll change this to zero. I don't want any form of delay in this particular um, tutorial. And then I'll come here to the style and then I'm going to change the background color to black. So I just have it uh, has the same color as the background I have here. You can actually set this to transparent as well. So let me, I can just go ahead and then change this to transparent. And then that is still going to be the color of this because this is um, set to no color. Now I need a loader. So how do I get the loader? So let me just go ahead and then open up my browser. So I'm going to go ahead to open up my browser and then there's, um, a uh, couple of sites that have some free preloaders that you can use. So I'm just going to go to google.com and then I'm going to search for uh, free preloaders and then switch is actually GIF or GIF and then I'm going to come here. So there's this site um, pre, uh, free preloaders.com which has some kind of free preloaders you can actually use depending on what you want to so go through them and then based on what you want. In my case, I'm going to use this one. So let me, the first one I use this, um, this one, let me just go ahead and then use this. I think I should be able to use this. Let me just go ahead and click it, click on it. Okay, so we have it downloaded. Let me go ahead and then open. Um, I think I open it instead. Okay, I think I got a first one, but that's fine. Let me just go ahead and then I'll get to where I have this. So I'm going to let me just go ahead and then let me just download this again so I can I just save open folder so it takes me directly to where i saved it so i have it here what i'm going to do is let me just go ahead and then open my project so i'll move this i'm using double screen so let me just 
move this to the other screen and then open my visual web builder project i'm going to drag the image that's the gif file to this particular screen so it's as you can see i have it here and then i'm going to move this into this new layer that's a small layer i have within this big layer so once i move this you realize it moves along with the image so let me just go ahead and then position this back to where it was now um, as you can see i have this so what this is going to do is that uh once i preview this it is actually going to be on top but nothing is happening because that is what i've asked to be on top so to be able to control that what i have to do next is to bring the timer object so i'm going to come to the two box and then i'm going to bring the timer object which i'm going to add some form of event to it which is going to control what is going to happen to this um, per what duration so let me just double click on this now the timer object this is how it works so if you want to set event to certain object you have um, the timer type where is it going to be timeout is it going to be an interval that's how long it's going to take for that particular event to occur so this by this we have um thousand um i think this is this is just by one one second so it's going to take some um let me just make this about two thousand so it takes about two seconds and then i'm going to set the event so what i'm going to before i continue that let me just click on okay i have to first of all rename this particular layer so that i know what i'm applying the event to so let me just change the name of this layer to let's say loader layer and then i'll come back to my timer i'll double click on it and then i'll go to the event section i'll go ahead and then hit on add and then the event type or the event is going to be on timer so that's even the only option we have in here what's going to be the option so the action is because i have this showing once i preview the page i have this showing now i want to be able to hide this after some few seconds so the action is going to be hide with effect so let me just look for hide with effect and then what is going to be the target so the target is this particular layer which is loader layer what kind of effect do i want to have i just want the fade effect and um, easing i just want to stick to linear how long should this take uh, i just want to stick to the 500 um, length here that's fine i'll go ahead and then click on ok and then click on ok so what is actually going to happen is that once i preview this page uh, this is going to show first because i have the docking layer and i've set it to fill it is going to fill the entire screen and after some few seconds based on the duration i've set here the timer is going to make this hide and then the page content is actually going to show so let's go ahead and then see that so i have this uh, previewed as you can see you realize there was some kind of let me just refresh this this uh, took some few seconds and then after the um, loader was done based on our discretion the timer we've set we actually have the page content showing so that's how to go about adding a customized preloader to your website project and wizard web builder before i go in case you have any tutorial that you want me to record on kindly leave a um, comment in the comment section below i'll try my possible best if i can work on them for you so once again this is dubs thank you very much for watching bye for now